Hey team, it's Dr. George Forgan-Smith here, a Melbourne-based GP, and today I wanted to talk about an article that showed up in Australian media about a new strain of HIV that has been found within the Netherlands. Of concern with this particular strain is that it is a little bit stronger. It's able to attack the immune system more effectively, and this leads to higher levels of viral load. What the impact on the community would be is for people who have been infected with this strain but are not on treatment, i.e. people who are not yet aware of their infection, this could lead to higher destruction of the immune system and earlier diseases, as well as a higher level of ability for the virus to be transmitted. And that's because there's more virus within the blood to actually be able to be transmitted. There is also an issue with regards to resistance, and there is a particular uh, drug, Zidovidine, that it appears to be, um, you know, that there is resistance. So that particular drug is not good for this strain. So what is the impact for our community? To be honest, for people living with HIV, the impact is pretty much zero. If you know that you're living with HIV and you're on effective treatment, there's no re reason to change. You are on effective treatment, there's nothing to worry about. If you're on PrEP, again, there is nothing to be concerned about because the two drugs within PrEP, tenofovir and emcitritivine, are still highly effective against this particular strain of HIV. The big group that we need to be concerned about is for people who have been at risk of HIV, who have acquired this particular strain, who are not yet aware of that. This is why getting regular testing is important and also to be aware of all of your options when it comes to prevention of HIV infection. PrEP is one of the options, but also remembering that positioning yourself sexually in a way that would not lead to a transmission of the virus, i.e. exchange of the bodily fluids, as well as barrier methods like condoms are still highly, highly effective. If you are at risk of HIV infection, please talk with your doctor about what options are best for you. And always remember, all people who are sexually active should be getting a regular screening every year. And if you are having more frequent sex, talk with your doctor about what the best intervals would be for you for getting your regular screening. Stay safe team, and I'm happy to answer any questions you have below.